Hello everyone. So today we are going to look into an architecture called Tapas and uh, it's primarily developed for working with uh, table data structures. So Tapas was introduced in this uh, research paper. So you can see uh, it's first year submitted on 5th April 2020 and uh, yeah, Tapas extends on BERT's architecture. So we all know like BERT is extremely powerful and it has so many variants uh, like Albert, Robert and all this which works really well for different NLP uh, tasks. So Tapas was primarily designed for uh, tabular data structure and the Google research team has uh, put up a github page for it so uh, they have all top of uh, libraries and dependencies and other uh, required files for giving further details on how to train the model or what are the predefined weights and what are the different packages or whatever things so just uh, it's a very good github page where we can actually refer all the details so feel free to look into this so it's the link for it. and uh, they have given a collab file for us to get hands on on how to run this tapas the base file actually not the original one or the advanced one but this gives us an idea like how this whole mechanism is functioning so for the sake of uh, implementation, I have actually downloaded and kept all the required uh, dependencies in my OneDrive. So you can actually access it in my OneDrive. So I have made it available in this folder. So along with the implementation file, which I am going to show in this video, you can actually download these files from the drive and you can use this Excel for the prediction if you want to try it out. So, so having said, let's uh, jump into the implementation side. So. Uh, first of all, we need to install the code from uh, the repository, Python repository. So it's a table passing file. So we need to download it or you can use a pip command for it. Then we need to install all the packages, import all the packages. So we, are, we want to install TensorFlow version uh, 2.0. So which is uh, specified in the uh, in their GitHub page. Next important thing is we need to set the directories. So we have some files which has to be in certain folder structure. So uh, so that all these things needs to be kept in a folder structure which you are actually familiar with. So uh, you need to keep both these folders in a directory which you are convenient and uh, rest everything I think I have handled it in this uh, structure itself. So no need to worry on the other folder structure. So that is the that is one thing which we need to note. So, next thing uh, after that, you need to run the cell to make the directory. So it's it's already created, but still, so you can actually feel free to run it. And then uh, you need to uh, so like next we need to we are actually defining the sequence like length as 512. So uh, this is for uh, yeah, this is the same uh, length which is there for word as well, the base model of word. And we have a vocab file which is uh, there in our folder structure. Next, we have a couple of uh, functions which, uh, uh, which is required for the prediction. I have altered the prediction function a little bit for our custom data loading. So, uh, just made some small changes in the implementation which uh, we just put up in the collab file. Now it's time for us to load the data and uh, we can ask the queries whatever we want. So what are the drivers and so these are the predefined questions which was there in the config as well. So I just uh, copied it. So you can use this uh, text uh, DF file which I have implemented, which I have uh, loaded it in my repo. So if you want to try it out with uh, different, you can feel free to try it out. You can make it as a package and you can uh, try it out on this uh, entire so that's it on the implementation side so please try it out and it's pretty interesting we can uh, solve a lot of questions with this uh, uh, architecture and it's a uh, pretty so the implementation is pretty straightforward so we need to just uh, install some dependencies for our data and we can try it out with our data for more and more uh, yeah use cases so that's it and uh, thanks a lot uh,
hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and uh, yeah see you next time thank you